Today we're going to use the webcam to check out what's going on in the world. Now a lot of countries hate us. We thought we'd check in with somebody who likes us, Australia. More specifically, Philip Gagan, who lives in a loft in Melbourne. Good day, Philip. Good day, Colin. How are you going? Oh, I'm doing good, Philip. Thank you for, uh, this is kind of exciting to me. This is high-tech stuff, you know? What is it like? Uh, what, what year is it down there? Is it this year? <laughs> Let me ask you something, Philip. Let me ask you a question. Why is it that Australia has always been such a good friend to us, you know? I mean, you guys are nowhere near us. We never run into you. But you always stick by us with all the wars. What is that? Oh, who knows? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure what it is. I think we just like everyone. No, you don't. <laughs> Listen to me. You like everyone. What about New Zealand? What are you going to do about those creeps? Get rid of them. Uh, we love New Zealand. They're dragging well. you down, baby. Come on. <laughs> you don't love them. They're like the Staten Island of the South Seas. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Have you, uh... But let me ask you something. Do you guys... Do you guys love America? Is it because you're all Irish ex-convicts? That was like the... Well, that's what it was. It was Irish ex-convicts, wasn't it, Philip? No, I don't think so. I don't think that's the reason at all. But but you were originally Irish. They like they put all the prisoners from Ireland. The British put them in Australia, right? Uh, sorry? The British... The way Australia was founded was the British put all these Irish ex-cons in Australia, right? Uh, it was like yeah. a Rikers Island type deal. Yeah. No? You don't know any of this? <laughs> yeah, I do know this. All right, listen. What do you think? Are you ready to go? It looks like we're going to start World War III. Are you ready to scrap in this one? Come up no, Gallipoli no, style, really grab the enough. guns and start moving? <laughs> I think it's someone else's turn. Someone else's turn? No, we need you guys. Because you're, <laughs> you know... You guys have a serious, well, you're active alcoholics, but besides that, we need that kind of half-drunk and rowdy behavior you guys have, you know? <laughs> it's no one else's turn. We need you. Oh, come on. What about the Canadians? They're closer. Yeah. They're closer, but they're very tedious people. They're boring people. <laughs> you guys know how to live it up. You ever see Crocodile Dundee 2? I was in that, you know. <laughs> I was. I had one line. You ever see that movie? No, I haven't. You never saw Crocodile Dundee 2? That's no, unpatriotic. It was a terrible movie. Part one may have had problems. Part two is a brilliant classic of Australia. <laughs> it was a true story of Australian life. I can't believe you missed it. No. Hey, you know who else I once met on a plane sitting right next to me? But I didn't know who it was because I've never been there. Katie Fisher. You know who that is? Yes. I met her on the plane. Wow. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> I've run out of Australian facts. <laughs> but thank you very much. You're our first webcam interview. I think you should be pretty excited about this. I am. I'm really excited. Thank you very much. Please, sit down. You're getting crazy. You're going to have a heart attack. All right. And uh, so we're looking forward to you for World War III. I can count you in. I appreciate that. Oh, and you okay. bring those I'll dumb suckers there. from New Zealand, too, if you must. <laughs> thank you. We'll see you in about three weeks in somewhere in the middle of Iraq. <laughs> no worries, Colin. All right, thank you, Phil. No worries. See you, See, that's how they talk down there. <laughs> we'll be right back. Harry just told us the Meals on Wheels stories. You're a dumb. I hope you're watching this on some horrible road, Greg. You really are dumb. Folks, prisoners everywhere have now entered the exciting romantic world of internet dating. If you were behind bars, what would your online dating ad say? Mark. I'm so lonely in here. I'm so lost. Another day, another salad tossed. I'm, lo I'm looking for a lady I can call my own. Because day in and day out here, it's just another fella with a bone. My special lady, she's a freak. The one I like to tap on. Hey, but one small favor, just in case, bring a strap on. Ah, oh, beautiful. Corey. Do you like pina coladas getting caught in the rain? If you like conjugal visits and you believe I was framed, if you're free the third Sunday of every month, provided there's no riot or raid, meet me at the Gainesville Women's Correctional Facility so I can get laid. All right. 
king. Hey, ladies, are you tired of staying up nights worrying about where your man is? Are you tired of men coming over and peeing on your toilet seat without any regard for you? Then I believe that I'm the man you're looking for. That's right, baby. I know the value of a good toilet seat <laughs> since I've been without one for quite some time. <laughs> Also, I promise I will, with all my heart, I will never cheat unless I, unless, of course, it's forced on me. For the next 15 to 25 years, you will have my undivided attention. Greg! What's my type? I don't care about looks or personality so much. I want an educated woman, say, with a law degree. <laughs> also important to me is a person who makes friends easily. Good friends, like, say, in the Ninth District Court of Appeals. <laughs> but most importantly, understanding, especially an understanding of the New Jersey RICO laws and the statutes concerning habeas corpus. <laughs> oh, yeah, and ass sex. I like ass sex. <laughs> Giving it. Well, that's the show. Good night. <laughs> Ah, a few questions for you, sir. Okay. Uh, have you ever been attracted to a woman with a criminal background? Um, well, I've been attracted to psychotic women, and a couple of them had uh, altercations with the police. Yeah, I went out with a cop, you know. No, no. Uh, I noticed your guest, Corey Kahaney, is very pregnant. She sure is. Do you think comedian...